Saturday. It is good to see you. I'm actually standing up for once. I'm still in front of the tub, but I'm standing in front of it. See? Right there. Um, I wanted to show you the dress. I did buy that dress. Look at this thing. Oh my God. This is this not just the craziest thing? And it lights everything up like a disco ball. Like, look, it's lighting me up. This thing is super duper long. Look at, oh my God. You won't guess what I paid for this. You won't. You will not. I about died. I, sometimes Goodwill is bad about overpricing stuff. So I was almost afraid to ask how much this was. And it's heavy as hell. It's long and it's heavy. And I have not tried it on yet. I, I, I have to tell you about my day. I've had a crazy, crazy day. I'm very tired. I would say this is going to be short, but every time I say it's going to be short, it's not. It even came with a wig. Oh, it came with a wig that I have no use for. Look at it. God almighty, it's just all the way to the floor. What? I was afraid to ask how much it was. It did not have a price on it. I thought, oh hell, that thing's probably $200. No in Goodwill, I have seen dresses in Goodwill for $200. Mm-hmm. This dress right here with a wig. I gotta show you the wig. Here's the wig. It's basically like a Lady Godiva wig. It's brand new. It still has tags on it. I forget what the brand is. Um, yes, this wig, this long wig came with it. I got the wig and the dress for $24.99 minus my discount, which is still good for now, even though they're not going to honor those cards starting next June or whatever. Yes, it, I don't like this wig on me, though. I'm probably going to put it on eBay or something. It's it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But hell, it's still got the tags on it. Look at that. Brand new wig came with this. I mean, it's pretty. There's nothing wrong with the wig. I just, I don't know. That shade of, I don't, I don't like that shade of blonde. And I don't really need it anyway. I have no use for that wig. I'm sorry. I look like shit. I apologize. It, but let me tell you about the day I've had. Oh, God. But at first, I had to show you this dress. I had to let you know I bought it. And I almost didn't even ask about it. When I walked in, well, you know, as soon as I walked into Goodwill, and that was on a mannequin right up by the front door, I just went, oh! I about stroked out right there in the front door of the Goodwill. I just, what? It's so sparkly. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, I was either a largemouth bass or a crow in my former life. Anything shiny, sparkly. What? That, I think, is one of the most glorious things I have ever found at Goodwill in my life. And I've been doing Goodwill. I've been going to thrift stores for over 40 years now. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to sit down because I'm tired. Ugh. I have been up since 5.15 a.m. this morning. On purpose. I didn't just wake up and go back, couldn't go back to sleep. No. You know what we did today? My younger son and I. We went and participated in the big group yard sale at Denton Farm Park in Denton, North Carolina, which is almost an hour from here. And you had to get down there. You had to be there at 7 a.m. to set up. You have between 7 and 8. It's first come, first serve. I didn't even know, know about it. I just heard about it myself like a month ago. I didn't even know they did. They do a big yard sale slash flea market kind of thing on late, the Saturday of you know Labor Day weekend. And my son, my younger son, wanted to go and sell some of his stuff. So that was the yard sale I was telling y'all about that we were going to do. He did great. I had him talk to everybody. And he actually did fine. He didn't have any problems at all. Once he got going, he was fine. He was totally fine. He talked to people, negotiated prices on some stuff. You know, he was, I had him holding the money most of the time. He would make change for people, you know, selling things and keeping track of the money and oh he did a great job we made almost two hundred dollars and we weren't even there four hours and we made almost two hundred dollars and it, it was it was great it was really great my nails are completely jacked up from getting all this you know moving stuff around in the car out of the car so, oh my god it was so much so much work but um yeah i i think he had a good time he was very happy with it 
So, um, and it was good to see him talking to people and carrying on conversations with people. And um, he had a lot of his old Nerf guns there that he wanted to sell because he has like 50 bajillion of them. And people would come up and ask him questions about, um, and you know, how does this one work? What kind of little darts does this one take? And and he ha he just told them all about each one, like, oh, this is from this series, and this is this kind, and it takes this kind of darts, and da 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 da. And look at this special feature, and he could tell them all about each little thing about each one of them. And uh, but he he has really long hair, so a lot of people assumed at first he was a girl. <laughs> he he's used to it; it happens all the time. He has. I really think he could be like a child model. He has a very interesting look about him. He has dark red hair and blue eyes and freckles. And he just has a very interesting... I think he has a very interesting look. But he has no interest in modeling. Like zero. I said, I really think you could do it. And I'm like, mm -mm. Anyway. But he does kind of... I can see why people think he's a girl. Anyway. Yeah. But he's used to it. So everybody... Because several people made comments like, I had never known a girl to be interested in, in Nerf guns. <laughs> Sometimes he would correct him. Sometimes, like, whatever, you know. <laughs> it's not worth the trouble to correct everybody. So. But he, he did really well. I was very proud of my boy. And uh, we I think we had a good time. It was a little frustrating when we first got there, though. We got there right at 7 o'clock. We um, loaded most of the stuff in the car the night before. We were out of the house by 6 a.m. We got down there about 7 um, I never get anywhere as fast as the GPS lady says I should. It always takes me longer because I think I do kind of drive like an old lady. Some old ladies drive really fast though. But I, 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 it always takes me longer than it says it's going to. Anyway, we get down there about 7 a.m. And there are apparently, and I was not aware of this because I have not been to Denton Farm Park in quite a while. There are actually two entrances to Denton Farm Park. I had no idea. So we go to one and it's all blocked off, but you can see over the hill all the people at the yard sale, and I'm going, you can't get there from here. And it's very frustrating, but fortunately, somebody else came along who knew about the other entrance and said, oh, yes, follow us. You know, we have to go around. There were no signs or anything to indicate to anybody who was not familiar with the area, oh, by the way, go here. You know, you have to take this big-ass detour and you would never just figure it out. I mean, it's like, it's weird. But so when you, you have to go around your ass to get your elbow to get over where they are. But once we got there, you pay $5 and you just go on in and park and you can, it, it almost looks like a big old trunk or treat, but it's yard sale stuff. So you have everybody there, you know, like there are these long gravel roads and you just set up along these long roads and there's plenty of room for everybody to set up and you could just take up all the space you wanted. Like they didn't give a shit. I figured they would have allotted spaces and you'd only get a certain amount. No shit. You could have all the space you wanted. It was great. Now we didn't have that much stuff. I mean, we, we had quite a bit of stuff. We sold almost everything we took. I couldn't believe it. I thought we'd be bringing back a bunch. No, he sold almost all of his Nerf guns. I think he had like two left. He even sold one that I, he had it priced, I thought he had it priced kind of high, but he sold it. He did. Somebody bought it. I'm like, damn, okay. I, I, I was wrong. I was wrong. I never thought you would get that for it, but he did. Uh, and he was pretty firm with his prices on some stuff and, you know. And he could explain why, like, I'm pricing this one at this because let me let me tell you a little bit, a bit about this gun, blah, 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 you know. And it was really interesting just to watch him. Like, you, you know, you're really good at this. You're actually really good. But, um, so that's where I've been all day. We we got, well, we'll see. We went back through Ashboro on the way, and I found that dress at the Ashboro Goodwill. We stopped in there because we were going to go to the Sheets across the street to get something to drink. And we got some of those Sheets fries. We each got a little cup of the fries. Because it was past lunchtime and we were kind of hungry and we wanted something to get, you know, to get us home. So we each got a little cup of those wonderful fries that Sheets is so good. A cup of Sheets fries was my lunch today. And so we did that and I, I bought that. That's, that's the only thing I got at Goodwill was that beautiful dress. I think it fits, but I haven't tried it on because when I got home, I was all sweaty and just gross because we'd been outside. Oh, it was so hot out there and there were like no clouds or anything. It was really hot. I have had a shower and I've changed clothes and everything, so I feel better, but I haven't tried it on. I'm pretty sure it will fit me. It, from looking at it, I'm pretty sure it will fit. 
what am I going to do with it? I have no clue. I have no freaking clue. I know it screams charity. I know it looks like something charity would wear. The only problem with charity wearing that is you see these little these little thingies here. Her hair will get wound up in these little iridescent little pieces. They're individually sewn onto this dress all the way down. And it even has a train, like it has a, a long train on it. Her hair, her hair will get caught up in that. That's my concern, is that if I try to get Charity to wear it, I will have to spend two hours picking that wig out of that dress. Unless I find some way to like put her hair up or back or something to keep it off of the dress. I'm afraid her hair will just get all wound up in it. Just because of the nature of her wig, it's really, it catches on everything and it, it winds itself up in everything. It's something about the synthetic hair in that wig. It just, it just catches everything it touches. It is such a, it's so charity. Of course it does. It's high maintenance just like her. I have problems with that wig every time I wear it. It gets, it gets, it either it gets tangled up in something or something gets tangled up in it every freaking time. And I have to sit here picking it out. Because, of course, I do. I don't have that problem with any other wigs, but, of course, Charity's wig would have to be extra like that. So, I may do a test run, like, get the wig out and, like, lay it up next to it and kind of move it around a little bit and see what happens. I just don't know that I want to combine that wig with that dress. But what else am I going to do with it? I am probably going to end up putting it on eBay because from looking at that brand... There's not another one on there like it. Not that brand. What was, the, what was the brand? Let me see. Is that not just the most gorgeous damn thing? Look at it. Somebody did ask me in the comment sections, why do you use profanity? Because I want to. Look at this. What brand is it? Now, here's the back. Yep. Oh, sorry. Shit. Okay. So, here's the back. It kind of dips down. And there's the front. It kind of dips down. So, you have your little zipper here. What brand is it? Giovanni. J-O-V-A-N-I. Giovanni. So, I saw several G G Giovanni dresses on eBay. They don't all go for a lot, but some of them do. I think I could, well, I would definitely get more than I paid for it. $24.99 minus my 15% discount. Yeah. I could absolutely, it's very heavy. It's in good shape though. It's in, actually, it's in really good shape. You have to kind of pat these little plates down. They kind of stick up, you know. But it's, God, it's gorgeous. It is so freaking beautiful. You know I had to buy this. It's, my younger son walked into Goodwill with me and he heard me gasp and he saw the dress and he said, oh my God. He said, Mom. I said, you know I have to have that dress. He was like, Mom, come on. <laughs> he's 13 and he is just so over my shit. He's, he's 13. He's sick of me. <laughs> like, we just had a victorious, a triumphant morning at the yard sale. You know, humor me a little bit. So, that was all about it. I didn't see anything else I wanted. I... I kind of I saw that when I walked in and I walked and I gasped and I and then I made that little short video that I showed you and then I went and browsed the store a little bit didn't find anything I wanted and I kept looking back at that dress like that is beautiful that is freaking beautiful so I had to have it I had to have it so that was all I bought but yes, I wanted to show you my dress. And um, so what I did, I actually made two videos while we were there at the little yard sale flea market thingy. And one of the deals I made with my son was, I will take you down there and we will do this yard sale thing, but you have to let me make a video walking around the yard sale. Because initially that was all I had planned to do. I just planned to go down there, do a little walkthrough, maybe do a little shopping and then go home. I wasn't planning on selling anything there, but he wanted to sell stuff. So I said, okay, but... You have to man our, you have to stay with our stuff while I walk around and make a video. He said, okay, fine. So he did. And he, he did great. He didn't really need me at all. 
he did he did great with everybody he really did it was it was it was great it was really great so um so I made a video walking around showing you some of the stuff there I have to edit that I'm actually working on editing it right now and I made a second video and it's already edited and uploaded and it will publish I think tomorrow I think I'm going to publish it tomorrow afternoon I didn't label it as ASMR because it's I don't really think it is. It's um, and there's no video to it. It's main. It's just audio with some pictures, like screenshots of my walkthrough, and it's just the ambient sound of an outdoor yard sale slash flea market. I thought some of the sounds were actually really nice, and so while we were sitting there, I just recorded some of just the ambient audio of the whole experience. I thought it was actually really nice. So um, I put that together. Of course, I have to edit out loud sounds like people yelling and like at somebody or dropping something noisy. So I had to edit out really loud sounds, but um, I did keep in some of the people just walking by talking, you know, and uh, so nothing personal. I don't think anybody said anything personal or anything, but um, yeah, so that's going to publish tomorrow afternoon. I thought it was actually kind of cool. So I got two videos out of it, which was neat. I was only expecting to get the one, but as I was sitting there listening to everybody talk, I thought, this is actually kind of nice. I like, I like this. This is actually kind of soothing somehow. Plus, there was a gravel road right in front of where we were set up, and you, every now and then you can hear people walking on the road or ca a car going by slowly on the road, and the nice sound of the gravel. I liked it. So people, you know, it's not for everybody, but some people like those kind of videos. So that's going to publish tomorrow. I might also publish the walkthrough tomorrow. I don't know if I get it done. So anyway, I, I am really tired and discombobulated and <laughs> I'm going to go back and work on editing this video some more. And then I'm probably just going to brush my teeth and go to bed because <laughs> I'm really, really tired. But I hope you're uh, having a good weekend. If you're doing anything fun, I hope it's going okay and you haven't had any issues with anything. Um, yeah, it's been a good day. It's been a good day. And um, tomorrow I hope to do as little as possible. I'm just going to relax. And I do have an exercise class and I have to mow the backyard if it's not too rainy. I think it's actually supposed to rain tomorrow. So we'll see. But I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you again soon.